Hi, I'm Barkley Hunter, lead programmer of Robocon, and I would like to welcome you to this Blade Runner programming showcase made possible by Best Robotics. Today we are going to look at the programming for Robocon's latest robot design, Turbinator 5000, more commonly known as the Turbinator. This is the complete program for the Turbinator. It is divided into four distinct blocks of programming, each responsible for the control of a different part of the robot. We will now take a look at the functions of each section of the program. The top left block of programming controls the opening and closing of the Turbinator's claw, which has two separate fingers controlled by servos. A latch on the joystick's top right bumper is used to keep the hand closed without holding the button in order to prevent accidental dropping of items. The bottom left section of programming is dedicated to controlling the robot's drive wheels. Our original arcade-style engineering system was replaced with a tank-style steering system, which allowed for more precise maneuvering. Our steering system also incorporates the unique feature known as Precision Mode. Nicknamed Half Speed by our driving team, it causes the motors to run at 50% of their normal power courtesy of an IF statement based on a latch on the U button from the joystick's left button pad. This is used to achieve very precise positioning of the robot. The top right programming block allows our drivers to control the height of the Turbinator's arm using the left side bumpers on the rear of the joystick. The jo top bumper raises the arm and the bottom bumper lowers it. The arm also uses a special stabilizing mode, nicknamed quarter speed by our drivers, that constantly attempts to raise the arm at a quarter of the motor's maximum speed, just enough to counteract the weight of a large windmill blade. This is used to hold the arm at a steady position when holding one of the blades. This feature also utilizes an if statement. If the latch on the right bottom bumper is active, then stabilizing mode will be active at all times that the raise or lower buttons are not pressed. Finally, the bottom right section of programming controls the angle of our robot's hand. This feature was added after our robot had difficulty aligning the large blades for insertion into their hub at our local competition. The joystick's right button pad is used to control this feature. The U button angles the hand upwards while the D button angles it down. The R button activates a stabilizing mode identical to the arm's stabilizing mode. The program underwent several modifications before becoming fully operational. It started as a simple arcade style drive system and evolved into the four part program we've discussed today. It even had a special version designed to support a rotating hook rather than a hand, although this concept was inefficient. The Turbinator simulator was used to test the program throughout its development thanks to the use of a Logitech GamePad F310 controller and Simulink's real-time simulations. Shown here is the final control layout for the Turbinator, designed to be intuitive and easy for our drivers to remember. Also shown here are labeled displays for the simulator. We now conclude this presentation of the Robocon IT Development Division. You can find more information about Robocon the Terminator at the web address shown here. Thank you for watching.